Hello and welcome to the video. I hope you're having a nice day. Today we will take a look at how to set up the Raspberry Pi Pico with the W5500 module and send a message through MQTT. I will be using MicroPython and Phony in this tutorial. First we will have to flash the microcontroller with the right MicroPython version that has all the dependencies enabled. It can be downloaded from the link in the description below. Once it is downloaded we have to flash the Pi Pico. To do that, you just have to hold the boot selection button and plug the Pi Pico in. It should appear as a new drive in your computer. Then you just copy the firmware straight onto the drive from your computer. And just like that, you have flashed your Pi Pico with MicroPython. Now we can move on to Tony. Now we have to download the UMQTT Simple 2 library using the Integrated Dependency Manager in Tony. Once it downloads, we should be able to run our little test program. Go to Tools, then click on Manage Packages and search for UMQTT. Let's go through the program step by step and see what it does. First, we import all the libraries that are necessary. The network interface is initiated next. Don't forget to call nick.activate in order to configure the interface using DHCP. Then we try to connect to MQTT broker. If the connection fails, the whole board is restarted. Otherwise, we start an infinite loop that sends messages every 3 seconds. And finally, when we run our script, we should see a message pop up in MQTT Explorer. A future video will go over subscribing to topics and sending data from a sensor. Thanks for watching, like the video if it was helpful, and subscribe for more.